frustrated commuters in Playa del Rey are getting a little relief. Yeah, they've been upset since lanes were taken away as part of a so-called traffic diet. But now there will be some big changes. And CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Playa del Rey with the details. Cara? Yeah, some angry business owners, as you mentioned, and some angry commuters. They spoke out and they were heard because part of this road or traffic diet is going away. The councilman for this area, he made the announcement on Facebook last night, along with an apology. That move was incredibly controversial. Let's be honest, most people outright hated it. And I said at the time that I would eagerly embrace any alternative solution that could help us meet our twin objectives of preserving public safety and maintaining coastal access. That's Councilman Mike Bonin. He says all four lanes will now be reopened on Vista Del Mar. Bonin says the county agreed to make more beach parking available, which means the city can remove some street parking and put those traffic lanes back. Now, at the same time, a task force is being formed to look at the other changes made by the road diet, including lane reductions on Culver, Jefferson, and Pershing. All of this was done because of a series of deadly accidents involving pedestrians and bicyclists. Cars have been flying through through this area at near freeway speeds. Bonin said safety changes had to be made because of liability issues. But those lane reductions also led to problems. Check out this video of an ambulance stuck in traffic on Venice Boulevard. It was on the way to a call. We just spoke with local Debbie Throckmorton about the other changes she's been seeing here in her neighborhood. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled about them putting the roads back because it's been gridlocked here and people are angry and businesses are losing money. It's, you know, it's been a nightmare. All right, so there are lots of other changes that still need to be discussed. Those will be looked at uh, in the coming weeks. But Jeff Sharon, we can tell you that work will get underway here within the next three weeks to add those lanes back.